Today on Toy Shoes Set Those VCRs, we got a midnight run to record. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shoes here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at Bandai. And today we're checking out two new figures from their brand new Gundam Infinity series. This is the Gundam Wing, Wing Gundam. Big fan of that, back in the day on Toonami. And of course, these figures are actually going to be based on the Gunpla Warfare Gundam Battle game that's on iOS and Android. If you're interested in playing on the back side of the box, you see everything that this new series will entail. So you're going to have four and a half inch figures. You got five in the first wave. And the whole deal is that the arms, the heads, the legs, the waist, everything as you'll soon see pop off and you can interchange the weapons and everything else and create your own Gundam along with if you get all five figures you can build an MS-06F Zaku and honestly I think it would have been cool if you could army build more so the villains and have the Gundams just like you know destroy them in that sense whereas of course the villain is the build a figure how of course you would do that who would actually be the build a figure if this wasn't well those are questions for another day, but those are just my thoughts on that. Here's the barcode as well, and then of course, you have the original Gundam, the RX-78-2 Gundam. Backside is all the same, swap out the parts, swap out the pieces, and here's the barcode as well. These should start hitting shelves anytime now, but the way things are going, the way things are shipping, it could be anytime at least before the end of this year. So. This is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Gundam Infinity series, the RX-782 Gundam and the Wing Gundam by Bandai. And of course, here's the two Gundams and all the pieces out of their packaging. And what's really cool is that these are miniature versions of the Gundam Universe line that I actually really like. Now, of course, my Gundam knowledge usually relies with Gundam Wing and Endless Waltz, but they are very cool, and the Zaku pieces are nicely done. They're mainly just all the same color plastic. There's very little paint, let's say, on this guy. He's pretty much just a solid color, but you got the arms and you have the legs so far. I don't have the rest of the figures, or else, yes, I would have loved to show you the full-on Build-A-Figure itself, but you kind of get the idea, and you can use these pieces to create your own Gundam if you'd like. Now, in looking at the two that we have here today, I'm gonna call this guy just the original Gundam because that's just how I seize it. Really nice bright colors. You got yellows, blues, reds. These are more simplistic. There's not a huge amount of paint, if any. It's all just kind of a solid plastic. Now, of course, some of the weapons are painted and such. You get the beam saber on this guy. You get a pink version, and you get his really nice looking shield. And they're both rendered nicely, nicely sculpted, especially on the back of the shield. You get to see all the rivet holes and the pieces and everything else. You get the big old Gundam scope gun, huge gun. Think about that, building a gun for a giant robot. I've always thought that when I looked at Gundam. And then of course you have the Gundam himself. And you do get a fairly decent amount of articulation for this 4.5 inch figure. The head, even little notches on top of his head and everything else are very flexible. So don't anticipate anything breaking. You do get some nice rotation out of the arm, although I wish it could go up a little bit further because that's about it and the shoulder pads, they'll rock and to and fro. You got single jointed elbows, they'll go back and forth and the wrists will spin as well. So those are cool, he spins at the waist, nothing in the ab crunch or anything he will kick out. He does have single jointed knees, which work for what you're doing. You get nice mobility out of that. And then basically the feet will spin and sort of rock up and down. However, you pop all the limbs off, like I said, and the waist and the head and everything else. So you get a nice amount of parts to this, especially, and we'll show you that in just a second after we take a look at the Wing Gundam. And pretty much the exact same amount of articulation. It's just got a lot more going on for it. This again being my favorite Gundams. I'm not a huge Gundam fan, but Gundam Wing was always very special to me. On this guy, you get a green beam saber and you get his really big gun. This is all just a gray plastic. There's no paint on this whatsoever. And then you have his shield as well. So you can do a little transformation, although this figure does not transform. 
However, he does look cool. Lots of yellows, reds, blues, whites, everything else. So he really does stand out. I like his wings on the back. It's just a very compact version of a lot of Gundams that I've seen. And with the articulation again, his head will spin and you get a nice amount looking up and down and everything else. Not so much in the arms, I will say. Again, the shoulder pads will move. You can get the arms going all the way up, but going out, not so much. Single jointed elbows and the wrists will spin. Nothing ab, spin at the waist, kick out, kick down, kick left, kick out. You get the idea, right? And he also has single jointed knees with about the same articulation in the feet. But the added points are that the wings will rock. I would have liked to have seen the wings go off to the sides. I think that would have been cool. But they will curl up in the back and you get some nice flight poses out of him. But the real deal is that, yes, you can combine all these different parts and make a sort of Frankenstein Gundam. And I think that that's an interesting take to do something a little bit different for all the different Gundam figures that there have been over the years. I could see someone fiddling with this at their desk. A nice little weird thing to do. Yes, I think you'd have to be a big, huge Gundam fan in order to get these, but it's an interesting idea. And when you kind of pair it up with other companies such as Toy Pizza or Rock'em Toys, yeah, they're doing the whole, you pop the limbs off, and you get to swap out parts and pieces and heads and all the different figures within the line. You can swap out swords and guns and gun arms and heads and capes and everything else. Same thing with Rock'em Toys doing a bit of a monster's sort of take on the swappable heads and such. So definitely check them out if you are interested. Now, in terms of the scaling, again, they're at the four and a half inch mark. So the Gundam Universe figures are vastly larger figures and a lot more detailed and they have a lot more sharp pointy pieces to them they're incredibly small compared to say a marvel legends six inch figure but to me they're a little bit old-fashioned in the sense and i kind of dig that especially they're around that kenner size or star wars power of the force so i mean you could really have these two battle it out you never know who could win in a beam saber i mean lightsaber match you know what i mean so that's really gonna wrap it up for my look at the brand new bandai gundam infinity series the original gundam and of course the wing gundam now i'll tell you this it's nice to see something done differently they're not a model kit it's basically just snap off appendages and pop them on and create a frankenstein gundam which can be a lot of fun I think that the Gundam Zaku Build-A-Figure thing is a lot of fun, but in terms of what they picked for the Build-A-Figure, I think a lot of people would have liked to have really built up the enemies so that the Gundams could take them down. That was always one cool thing when a Gundam Wing episode, you'd have Troa or Hero and he'd just go to town and annihilate like 78 people in mobile suits and... I mean, that would have been cool to do that. I really like the original Gundam, but Gundam Wing is where it's at for me, so I would highly recommend him in that sense, and I look forward to seeing other Gundam Wing Gundams in the line, maybe even some villains. That would be cool as well. Take them down, annihilate them, and yes, to be able to assemble your own Gundam, that's a fun little trope to have. But I am curious to know what you guys think about this new Gundam Infinity series. Will you be grabbing? Have you already? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Gundam. Gundam Wing, really? <laughs> that's, where, that's where I could talk to you about it if you want to talk that stuff. And thank you again to Bandai for sending these two over to give you guys this fresh look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, when it comes to the Endless Waltz, make sure you put some feathers on that there Gundam. I heard it makes the Gundam robot go faster. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.